Let's talk about our sine wave equation. Now, this xt, that's the wave magnitude at time t, and m is our magnitude, our peak voltage, times the sine of 360 degrees, times our frequency, times the time, plus our phase angle. Now, this 360, that's just in there to make certain that uh, both uh, terms in these parentheses are, in, are going to be in degrees. So, let's start with phase A here, and we'll figure out the, uh, the, what the voltage is at this, this particular time. So, we've got 170 volts, that's going to be our peak value. And so, we take our 360 degrees times our 60 times 0 0.00208 plus our 0 degrees, and it comes out to 44.928 degrees, okay? We take our sine of that, and that comes out to 0 0.706, and we take 170 volts times 0 0.706, and it gets to 120 uh, 20 volts. Uh, R, and that's going to be our RMS value, and that's why I picked this uh, this value, this time here. Now, uh, most of the time, th this the peak value is probably closer to uh, 168 volts, 167 volts, but I just rounded that off, and this is usually about uh, 0 0.707. But uh, this works out this way for uh, 120 volts. Now, let's take a look at... Um, phase B here. Now it's lagging by 120 degrees. So we take our 170 volts and we take the, uh, the 360 times our frequency times the time minus 120 and that comes out to minus uh, 75 degrees. We take our sine of minus 75 degrees and that's minus 0.966 and then we take multiply that by our peak value of 170 volts and that comes out to minus uh, 164 volts. And that's right down here. That's going to be minus 164 volts. Now, instead of saying, you know, we're lagging by 100, uh, 120 degrees, we can be ahead by 240 degrees. So if we do the same formula here, add this up and use 240, then it comes out to 284.928. But if you take the sine of 284.928, that's going to be minus 0.966. going to be the same thing. So we have our same voltage down here. You can do it either way. Let's take a look at uh, phase C here. Now phase C here is it's leading by 120 degrees. So we take our our peak voltage times uh, our 360 times 60 times our time plus 120, and that's 165 degrees. And then we take our sine of 165, and that's 0 0.2258. And if we take our peak value times that, it comes out to 44 volts. So at this time, our phase A is going to be at 120 volts. Phase B is going to be at minus 164 volts. And phase C is going to be at, uh, up here, it's going to be at, at 44 volts. Okay. Now, if we add all these up, 120, the 44 and a minus 164, that should come out to zero. And if you do it in polar form, here this is polar form where you have 120 volts uh, at zero degrees plus 120 volts at minus 120 degrees plus 120 volts at uh, 120 degrees. That comes out to zero if you do it in polar notation. But uh, that's it. That's uh, that's how the uh, the sine wave equation works. And for any time along here, you can you can find the voltages of your uh, sine waves here. But uh, that's it. Uh, thank you.